Miami is a vibrant and bustling, gorgeous city that is very near and dear to my heart, located in the southeastern tip of the state. Known for its warm weather, beautiful beaches, and Latin American influence, Miami has a lot to offer. However, like any city, it also has its drawbacks, and this video will explore some of the pros and cons of living in Miami, Florida. Make me a deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Grayson Roberts, realtor and owner of Boss Properties. If you are looking to buy, sell, or invest in the greater Miami area, give my company a call. Give me a call, rather, 24-7. Call, text, email, whatever's your speed. I'd love to help you make your relocation so much easier for you. And before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to long-term Boss property sponsor, Weeble, my personal favorite freelance stock brokerage that I've been using every single day for four years and I've never paid them a dime. They're giving my audience a free sign up bonus of six free stocks. All you got to do is click the link in our description, create an account, find that account with as little as just one cent. They're going to put six free stocks in your account. You can sell by the dip, make more money or cash out to your bank account and make your move a little bit cheaper. Now, if you haven't seen my moving to Miami video, I highly recommend it because we touch everything from the fun art museums, the beautiful beaches, all the way to the safest neighborhoods and everything else you need to know about Miami. Now, it was pretty much me just hyping it up because I love this city. It's wonderful. It's a great place to live, but there's no such thing as a perfect place. Not at all. So today I'm going to brush through the pros, but really focus on the cons. And if you're more interested in the pros, you can go check out my moving to video. All right, let's start with the pros. Number one, of course, the weather. Miami enjoys a warm and tropical climate year round with an average temperature of 77 degrees. If you love warm weather and spending time outdoors, Miami is a perfect place for you. Number two is one of the biggest and kind of the most distinct factors that make Miami, Miami. And that is simply its cultural diversity. Miami is a melting pot of cultures with a major Latin influence. You can find interesting and unique people of different ethnicities that's traveled all over the world to come and call Miami their home. It's a really fascinating place. And this also leads to a lot of cultural experiences, including unique art, cuisine, and just simply things to do that are you don't find other places, including the music. Number three, obviously beautiful beaches. Miami is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the entire world, including South Beach and Key Biscayne. You can enjoy swimming, sunbathing, and a wide range of other water activities year round. Number four, job opportunities. Miami has a thriving economy. Miami is a major center for finance, international trade, and tourism, as well as has a strong job market in general. It's home to several major employers, including Carnival Cruise Line, Florida International University, and Baptist Health South Florida. Number five is endless entertainment. Miami's nightlife is bonkers. It's off the rails. Miami, Florida offers an array of popular activities and attractions for visitors to enjoy. The city is renowned for its stunning beaches where sunbathing, swimming, and water sports like paddleboarding and jet skiing are highly favored. But exploring vibrant neighborhoods such as South Beach and Wynwood with their colorful Art Deco architecture, trendy shops, and world-class restaurants, it is a must visit. Additionally, visitors can immerse themselves in the city's diverse cultural scene by visiting the renowned Perez Art Museum Miami and attending live music and dance performances at the Adrene Arsht Center. For nature enthusiasts, a visit to the scenic Everglades National Park, just a short drive from Miami, provides an opportunity to discover the unique ecosystem and encounter fascinating wildlife. Now, moving into the cons, which is, in my opinion, the most important thing in today's video. Number one, the cost of living. It's above the Florida average and it's well above the national average. Now, the median home price in the United States for 2023 is around $425,000, with the median home price in Miami, Florida being $590,000. And the cost of living, other things like transportation, groceries, utilities, is also going to run you fairly high. It's not too bad. It's mostly the housing price in the Miami proper area. But as I said in my moving to video, there's all sorts of little towns that are, you know, just as awesome, but have a lot smaller population and a much lower cost of living. So connect with a professional like me and we'll find you the best bang for your buck. Okay, so the general cost of living. 
it's gonna be 20% higher than the state average and 21% higher than the national average. But healthcare comes in at 2% lower than the national average, which is nice. Number two, traffic, inevitable. Just like many big cities, Miami, of course, in rush hour is going to have traffic. That kind of goes without saying though, but it is a con. If you don't like sitting in your car and wasting time, maybe consider going on the outskirts. Number three, hurricanes. Hurricanes like the area. Miami is located in a region that is vulnerable to hurricanes, unfortunately. And while these storms are relatively rare, they can be devastating when they do occur. Hurricanes is kind of a weird thing. I'll throw up a hurricane map. I like to put in a lot of my Florida videos and it just kind of shows you the probability and the past track record of, you know, devastating hurricanes hitting the area. And this is good information to have. Number four, crime. Now I always say this in all my my city videos. Whenever you have a bigger population, you're gonna have more diversity, including different ethnicities. You're gonna have more Asian people. You're gonna have more smart people. You're gonna have more stupid people and you're gonna have more criminals. It just comes with having a higher population. And this calculation is just all about crime to population ratio. And while Miami is actually regarded as a generally safe city, it does have its fair share of crime, especially in the least desirable neighborhoods. You should take precaution to protect yourself and your property, especially in certain neighborhoods. Uh, Miami has a crime index of 8.8 out of 10, which is considered a lower crime rate than similarly sized metro areas and is also below the US average for cities of this kind. In conclusion, Miami has a lot of pros and a few cons, but luckily most of the cons are fairly obvious and actually not that bad. The biggest one is gonna be that high cost of living and that could be a pro depending on who you ask. Anyway, guys, if you're looking to relocate to Miami or the greater area, give my company a, or me a call. I keep saying my company 24 seven, a call, text, email, whatever you want. If I can't help you personally, I will connect you with the best agent in whatever property niche, whether it's condo, beachfront, country, which is not really Miami or anything like that. I connect good people with great real estate agents if I can't help you myself. Get the free money with people down below and I will see you in the next moving to boss properties video.